Hi, um, my name is Mia Richardson and I'm from Thomas Jefferson and I'm in 12th grade. <laughs> Um, and this is my poem, it's called Two Skeletons. Under this tree, under the ancient light of the stars, it's hard not to feel so temporary in this body. Our bodies are so close, I can hear the creak of your bones, can feel the ver reverberations of your voice in the cavern of your ribs. And I can't help but picture us. Two skeletons intertwined. And if the world ended right now, if an asteroid came hurtling towards us right now, our skeletons would be frozen just like this, intertwined. In 66 million years, maybe some sentient beings would excavate us. They'd dig through the layers of ice and ash and find us still together. They wouldn't know our names. They'd call us by our scientific names, of course, but I think they'd understand. They'd stick us in a museum in a glass box with a plaque that said, two homo sapiens fossilized. <laughs> a paleontologist would point to our case, say, notice the femurs crossed over one another, the cranium abutting the clavicle, notice the phalanges interlocking. <laughs> and two visitors, two companions, would look through the glass of our case and see themselves. Two skeletons, phalanges interlocking, two skeletons intertwined. And maybe they'd feel temporary in their bodies, but maybe they'd realize that this feeling is older than them. It's older than ash and ice, older than asteroids and extinctions, older than planets and stars. This gravity, this closeness, it was here long before we came along, and long after we're gone, it will keep going. But for now, it keeps our two skeletons intertwined. Shout out to Miller. That was the last poet for round three. Uh, give a hand to everyone who's gone up so far. Judges, it's getting tough. It's getting tough. On the count of three, are you guys ready? One, two, three.